You just found the future of gaming. The future of gaming is with this little device right here known as the Azeron keypad. Not only is this one of the most innovative things I've seen in gaming in a long time, I also think it could have a huge impact on video editing. Later in the video, we'll do a deep dive into everything this Azeron keypad can do, but first, let me tell you a little bit about the history of it. So the Azeron keypad first started out as a prototype and it looks something like this. Just a little wooden device that they programmed to be able to use as a keyboard. Now, personally for me, why I looked for something like the Azeron keypad is because when I made the switch to keyboard or mouse, I always got my fingers mixed up between WASD and every time I move away from it. Then I saw this thing known as the Azeron keypad. So instead of fumbling around with WASD and messing up, now the Azeron keypad has a joystick. Oh. This joystick is so powerful because not only people that play keyboard and mouse who have trouble mixing it up, it also is a great transition for somebody who plays controller and they're trying to make the switch to keyboard and mouse. It just makes you feel more comfortable when making the switch. Now today, I'll be reviewing the Azeron Classic because I've been using this one for over two years and absolutely love it. But the Azeron comes in four different styles. And just a sneak peek for a later video, I'll also be doing a review on this brand new Azeron Cyborg that I got. Fully customized and it even says hip right on the side. But like I said before, it comes in four different variations but that's just the start of it. You can also get it for left or right hand. More than 2,500 left-handed people are killed every year when using equipment meant for right-handed people. Do it! It comes in two different styles for the hand rest. You can either get a curved one or you can also get the flat. This is the flat one. I have the curved one on mine right now. Or if you want to pay a little more, you can actually get both. So then you can take them on and off and uh, see which one fits best for you. It also comes in different sizes. It comes in a medium and a large. I believe I have a medium. You can get multiple different thumbsticks. I got the thumbstick with the five way. The five way just gives you five extra controls that you can set to do whatever you want with any of the keys. So right here, all you would have to do is go up is one control, over is another, down, left, and then if you push in. So that's the five different buttons that you can. You can actually customize any of the keys and the colors of this can pretty much be fully customizable. So you can set it to whatever you want to help fit your setup. Now I know you're already thinking, shut up and take my money, but I will give you a warning. Really the only con that I have with this Azeron keypad is just the delivery time, but they have a reason. The reason that it takes a little bit longer to get is that this whole thing is 3D printed. Every single Azeron keypad, they have to 3D print to whatever you customized it. And to me personally, I definitely think it's worth the wait. And by me saying it takes longer to get delivered to you, it's really only about a couple weeks. Once you get the Azeron keypad, there's actually so many different things you can do with it. One of the things that's very useful for the Azeron that comes with it is this little screwdriver that helps you take out the screws so you can adjust it to whatever you want. There's screws at the bottom of it. You can unscrew the screws and you can spread out the arms of the keypad to help fit whatever fits more comfortable in your hand. All of the keys on the Azeron keypad are pretty much like mouse clicks, so you can tell every time you press a key. That was another thing that really helped me whenever I was playing keyboard and mouse. I would always get my fingers jumbled up, but with the Azeron keypad, I know what key I'm hitting every single time. The material that the Azeron keypad is made out of, it's pretty much plastic, but if you've ever been around a 3D printer, it's that exact type of plastic, if you know what I'm talking about. The build quality is very good. I've been using my Azeron keypad for over two years now, and I haven't had a single problem. The Azeron Classic has 26 customizable keys. I pretty much use all of them besides sometimes the top two, these two up here. They're hard to hit in a fast paced game. So I like to use that maybe for my map or things like that in games. That's the key when I can take my time and just relax and really stretch up to touch it. I normally keep this keybind as my like escape, so I never have to take my thumb off the joystick so I can continue to move around. So if I ever want to pause the game or get out of something, I make this key the escape so I can just go over with my thumb and touch it real fast. Another problem I have with the keyboard is that I had to use three fingers just to move around. That's three fingers that you can use to rest on more important keys to help you win games. So by the Azeron keypad having the joystick to move around, the rest of your hand is meant all for the important buttons. Like most of you, I grew up my whole life playing controller. I probably made the switch to keyboard and mouse about three years ago, and I used the regular keyboard for about a year, and I just couldn't get the muscle memory down. So that's like how I said earlier that I had to look for a device like the Azeron keypad, and then I found it. And it was an absolute game changer. I had no more worries with fumbling around with what keys I'm pressing or getting used to that, but I also went back to my familiar roots of using a joystick to move around, 
and then just rested my fingers on the most important key. And the best thing about it is it comes with this software that you can set any of the key binds to do whatever you want with any finger. So say you're most comfortable using your pointer finger to touch the buttons. You can set the most important keys to any of the buttons that your pointer finger can touch. And then to set up the joystick, all you have to do is set your joystick to WASD. Now, like I said earlier, Azeron also has the Azeron Cyborg, which they didn't have when I first got the Azeron keypad, but I have no complaints with the classic Azeron. I'm hoping to do a review on the Azeron Cyborg very soon, so be on the lookout for that. And while we're on the topic, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. The reason I am excited for the Azeron Cyborg is because they don't have the two high keys and they have four that are way more accessible. However, with the Azeron Classic, I haven't run into any problems really with any games where I've run out of keys or run out of ways to be able to hit the button. And you can set up multiple different presets within the Azeron software. This means that if you have a specific keybind for Fortnite, those keys will always stay the same, or you can go to a different preset that you have set for Warzone. You can also change the dead zone for the joystick so you know how far you have to move the joystick to actually move. Now don't get me wrong, this will take some time to get used to, but after you get used to it, it's absolutely game changing. I personally don't think I could ever go back to a normal keyboard after using the Azeron Classic. Also, if you get your own Azeron keypad, make sure to use code HIT for 5% off. Not only will it give you 5% off, but it will help support my channel and it will be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, like and subscribe and follow Hip Gaming for more.